Welcome everyone to another bullet journaling video. Today I'm combining two really highly requested topics, one being bullet journaling on a budget and the other being bullet journal spreads on lined paper. When I buy my bullet journal supplies, the way I save money is by buying products online or when they are on sale. However, I wanted to show you that bullet journaling can be really inexpensive. You can just take $20 and go to your local Walmart or Staples and find all the supplies you need to create a cute journal. So I created a spread already uh, that I'm gonna walk through, but first let's talk about the products that I use. The first one is this notebook. I got this notebook from Chapters Indigo and it rang in at $9 Canadian. As you can see, it's gorgeous. It has this beautiful uh, cover on it with this really cute design. And the paper quality is actually quite good, surprisingly good. I didn't experience any bleeding through the pages as you will see when I walk you through these spreads. If you live in Canada, I would highly recommend checking out Chapters stationery section out. They do have pricier items, but they also have more affordable notebooks such as this one. Let's move that aside for now. For all my writing needs, I use not my Pit Artist Pen or my Micron Pen. I used a Bic Roller Glide Deco Pen in black. This package came with two, and the price for both of these pens was $4.79. I actually really love this pen, and I'm going to be using both of these for many future projects. The last item I used were these Crayola Ultra Clean Washable Markers. This costs $5.99, and you can actually get away with doing some brush lettering with these. The grand total for all of these items before tax ended up being $19.78. What? So with that being said, let's dive into the spread. The first page just has a simple, this journal belongs to Caitlin Silva. I didn't really intent for this to be anything special. But the first two official pages are the month at a glance and the monthly tracker. I use July as my sample month for this, but I will be doing a formal July plan with me in about a week. The title for my month at a glance looks like it was properly brush lettered with a Tombow, but I actually used a Crayola black marker. I did the same techniques that I showed in my handwriting tutorial, and this was the result, which I think is pretty fantastic. All of this writing was done with my Bic Roller Glide, and it's just a simple numbers down the page which is what I typically do for a month at a glance. For the monthly tracker I used my Crayola to give uh, my title a little bit of color. Because I was using lined paper for this spread I found it easier to design vertical spreads rather than horizontal spreads so that's why my monthly tracker is a vertical one this month. I thought it'd be cute to do something a little bit different and isolate the things that I'm tracking rather than track them all together on one big grid. And then what I figured you'd be able to do is take a Crayola marker and on a particular day if you hydrate you just color it in with the yellow marker. If you meditate on that day do the same thing. Smoothie on Tuesday, Thursday, you know you get the you get the gist. And what a great way to continue adding color to your spreads. I love it. The next two pages are a gratitude page and a spending tracker. The gratitude page is pretty simple. I included a little quote up here. Gratitude helps you see what's there instead of what isn't. I thought that was beautiful. And then for the spending tracker, I did the title in my green Crayola uh, and the rest, everything in black is, again, this Bic Roller Glide. There's a section here to write a total budget for the month. And then under fixed and variable, you write down your fixed and variable expenses that you anticipate. For fixed, you'd probably have rent, hydro, cable, and then for variable expenses, maybe that's clothing, eating out, and you could write beside them your budgeted amount. And then from there, you can create a weekly allowance, and uh, down below, I have a chart here for you to put what you actually spend on each week during the month. This gives you a general overview of your spending, but this is where you put that detailed information every day. There's a section for the date, how much money you spent, and how you spent it. And we are moving on to a quotes page. Throw kindness around like confetti, and of course, because I had a quote about confetti, I had to create some confetti by just using my Crayola marker to make dots like this. Super easy. And then to the right, I made a sample wish list section, or a sample to-do list. I thought these pink angled lines were kind of a cute way to divide the page. And the last two pages are a sample weekly spread. These two pages are probably my favorite. At the top, I created a string of, I guess, twinkly lights. One tip I do have when doing kind of doodle work with at least the products that I use is 
is to go in with your pen and then let it dry for a few minutes before you go in with the Crayola markers to add color or else you'll experience some bleeding with the colors. I kept the spread super clean and opted for a vertical layout because that's the typical layout I gravitate towards. I also wanted to show you how you could just write normally with Crayola markers and get a really cute effect. And there you have it, a bullet journal spread under $20 and online paper. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite budget-friendly bullet journal supplies, and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Until then, bye everyone. We can run away, we don't gotta stay.